Headwaters bamboo going. And here's the reel. I think it's a, called a St. Joe's or something like that. St. Joe's. It's kind of a small reel. But I'm out here streamside. Getting ready to have at it and do a little fishing. All right. Got two tips going on here. It's a two-piece rod. So, just kind of line everything up here. And put the reel on. Hopefully we got it right. Oh, there we go. It's a tiny old reel. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Another little wad. Looks like a wad. All right. So that's a that's a fun guad to catch on a light pole. I mean, it's so that's why I started fishing a three weight out here. But I'm gonna definitely get into the three weight bamboo. <laughs> uh, it might be a blast. I mean, because it, it's it's uh, it's uh. But anyhow, there you go. So, um, so I brought out the uh, the Headwaters bamboo. There, there's the name. I mean, it's a it's a nice rod, dude. I mean, it's everything you think that a bamboo rod should be, except it's probably made in China. But um, it's got the nice stripping guy, the agati agate agati agate stripping guide uh so you got the nice snake guides and then uh this metal ferrule I, I i don't even know what that is um but uh you know this whole outfit cost around 600 bucks the cork's nice and then it's got the saint joe reel and and this is kind of comparable to kind of some of the other reels that i have and i and, and i like this style uh, it's got a nice wooden reel seat. Um, there's the tip top. Oh, there you go. Um, I mean, the wrappings are good. They look like they look like they're like silk with maybe epoxy over it. I'm not sure. Uh, but 
the rod definitely um, can cast. Um, so this little chartreuse deal was kind of the killer fly today. But I don't know. I'm, I, I, overall, I'm impressed. I mean, it, it, this thing casts more like graphite than it does fiberglass, which I thought was totally the opposite. But I'll, I'll try to get in some more fishing and get some fish and show you some footage. I got out here kind of late. I'm kind of, <laughs> I kind of woke up in the middle of the night and then went back to sleep. And, but anyhow, um, so this is the Britain bar or something like that. It's a medium fast taper. Um, Britain bush, Britain bush. I don't know where they got that. So it's kind of a medium fast, so it kind of flexes right here in the, you know, kind of loads up nice, those heavy flies, and it's a four weight. Um, but I don't know, that's all I got. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see how this uh, rod uh, cast a, what did I, I guess you call this a uh, micro changer. This is tied by McFly Angler, Sean McQuaid. So uh, uh, I'll see how far it go, how, how far this. Let's see how this bamboo rod does with this game changer. Now this is a four weight. I mean it 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 hauls it, man. It's not, there we go. It gotta get, gotta get a little wet before it starts retrieving right. So the thread's gotta get wet. Ooh. Oh man. Little snag on her there. Something something was playing with it. Let's see. I have a feeling the quads are probably. I mean, because they're they kind of like this weather. Let's see. And the, sometimes the smaller bass do too. They get to go out and get eaten. It, it, it casts it nice. Oop, there. Oh, man. Man, there's some panfish over there. I mean, if they're hitting that thing, I wonder if I would just get me a woolly bugger. But it, it's it's doing real. Throwing this big old game changer. GoPro, stop recording. 